Hey guys, it's Wednesday, and I'm not sure what YouTube is anymore, as I've let my channel sit fallow for days now. Occasionally, I'll trim the fat, deleting videos or posts and comments from people who don't even know me. I'll sign in sporadically, usually to keep up to date on some thing or another, some drama or some once a friend's life trajectory. Notice who's aging well and who is not. Or simply scroll and take note that everyone is either having kids or very angry about something. So I don't know what this thing is. is. Some, Some unfortunate, unfortunate and hideously designed, designed merry-go-round of people who aren't even that relevant to me anymore. But who I don't, don't ever want to unfriend, unfriend for some weird reason, reason who I cannot shed completely. completely. Now, now, because of the pandemic, I'm faced, I'm faced with the prospect, prospect alongside all, all of my fellow humans, humans of mourning the loss of my previous lives, my previous selves, and in this somehow, and this somehow inspires a question, a question of, of returning, returning to the, the platform. platform. And I am back on the platform. They say that views and stuff like that go down in the summertime on YouTube because it's just people want to go outside and enjoy the summer, which I think is awesome. And yeah, so if I feel like the comments, likes, or views are low on my videos, you know, for my channel, I'm not going to assume that it's the quality of my content, which we all know is extremely professional and very highbrow. But obviously, you guys are just enjoying the summer, and I want you to do that because I want you to live healthy, fulfilling lives. So we'll just chalk it up to that. I actually do want to talk about a current event, though. Um, so I avoid the news, like the plague, and I get all of my news from the people I listen to. And someone I respect mentioned recently that there's a big news story going around about a woman who was on a plane. This was in America. And she sat next to a guy who I guess mentioned he was a Freemason. And she was like, oh my gosh, you shouldn't do that because that's satanic, which is exactly what I would have said as well. And then he said something like, I am Satan. And she freaked out, stood up and was like asking to, to get off the plane. You know, she's very upset, um, which... You know, if that's what happened, like, I can kind of understand that. Although I, if that were me, and I am friendly, so I would be chatting to the person sitting next to me on the plane, okay? You know, if they were wanted to do that. I also respect boundaries at the same time. So, like, don't worry. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> or at least I try. <laughs> I think I do. Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, if that were me on that plane, like, after he said that, I'd be like, well, whatever. Like, the Lord is my shepherd. So, like, I don't even care. Like, I'm not even phased. Like, I would, like, play it cool. You know what I mean? Like, just to be like that, you know? It do be like that sometimes. So anyways, but yeah, obviously she freaked out. And a guy understanding conspiracy, I've actually been watching his Nephilim series. He has like a 36-ish part series on Nephilim look like clowns. And he goes over like everything. I'll link it down below. But he actually did a video on this current event. Okay, so if you want to go see some proper relevant commentary... Um, I would go check out his video on it, and which I will also link down below. But yeah, the reason I'm bringing up this current event is because it's somewhat relevant to what's going on in my personal life. And you guys know that this is the most selfish channel on YouTube, so here we are. I have been watching the, the Nephilim videos, obviously, as I've mentioned. And quite frankly, I'm a little spent on it. You know, like I want to move on to a different conspiracy. And I thought, you know, I haven't really looked into the Freemasons or like the Illuminati in years. Um, do, for me, 2022 was all about the moon landing. I spent 2022 just moon. NASA is a giant money laundering scheme, you know, just everything, right? Like it was all about the moon and how fake space is. And I spent a good amount of time on bit shoot last year as you know, obviously, you know, but I've moved on, you know, and Nephilim, I heard whispers of here and there, but I really got into it. So as I get to the tail end 
Um, I don't know. I just like to always have like a conspiracy content genre that is in my roster of content that I put on, you know, to watch, to relax or while I'm doing chores, you know, whatever it is. Right. So out with the Nephilim and with the Freemasons. Right. And I'm sure there's overlaps and, and relevancy. So that was kind of like, I thought that was funny, like the new, like the one current event I heard about this week <laughs> was like relevant to, you know, my taste. So awesome. So that's what's new with me in terms of my content consumption. Um, I guess let me know. Actually, yeah, let me know in the comments, like if any of you have conspiracies on your roster of content, um, let me know which one you're into at the moment. Okay. Cause yeah, like, um, I really had fun with the moon landing stuff. Like, that was an interesting time in my life. Okay. Um, <laughs> I found out a lot about BitChute and cryptocurrency at that time in my life. So, thank you, Jeff Berwick. Um, also, yeah, does anyone watch the the Dollar Vigilante? Um Jeff Berwick, I like watched the heck out of him last year. It was like my whole life in 2022 was like cryptocurrency and... Um, moon landing is not real and NASA is, is lying to us videos. Um, <laughs> that was pretty much it. Um, I did, uh, I, it's, I love, uh, Nick Rockefort's. I feel like I never say his name right. Um, when he went over his cryptocurrency, like all the ones that he owns, I literally have the exact same portfolio. It's like internet computer Solana. <laughs> and like, um, I ha of course I have bit, Bitcoin and Ethereum. And um, I bought Jeff Berwick always recommends Dero or Monero. Um, I don't know. You know, that's up for, I mean, you know, it's, it's stocks, it's investments, it's gambling, it's glorified gambling, just like the stock market. So, <laughs> I mean, you know, but I like, I like crypto a lot more than the stock market. It's, I think just cause it's like 24 hour trading that alone makes it a lot cooler to use. Um, but yeah, that's my financial advice for the week. So there you go, kids. Have at it. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, very similar portfolio to Nick Rockfort. Um, yeah, still a fan. Still a huge, huge fan girl. I have not been watching Scuffed Realtor a lot lately. I, I haven't really been watching the live streams lately just because, well, I've been watching the Nephilim documentaries, you know, like I'm just, I'm on a different vibe right now. So Yeah. And can we all just accept that the word vibe is now an acceptable normal word and we don't have to use it ironically anymore. We can use it unironically and it's okay. And we don't have to make fun of each other for that, you know, because I, I also have been using that word, you know, and I didn't know it was going to get so serious, but it did. Um, I do have, I ha I've had a lot of coffee today. I am no longer drinking iced coffee. Um, I've been drinking just sort of regular warm coffee, hot at first and then warm, right? Um, and I, I also have been drinking a, a lot of coffee and I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, I feel okay. I'm definitely caffeinated, but I was just thinking about how this all started out so innocent, you know, uh, several months ago. I did a woman squawks and I, I just, you know, I didn't even know to call it woman squawks. You know, I was just recording my stream of consciousness, having an iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts of all places. I know, I know. Um, I don't know if that was one of the Dunkin' Donuts ones. There are a few women squawks where I do not have organic fair trade coffee. I think I just get organic nowadays, but um, I obviously, I mean... Girl's got to do what I, I'm on a budget. Okay. G give me a break. Um, but you know, not always organic, but yeah, Dunkin' Donuts is the antithesis of the kind of coffee that I normally buy. But Hey, you know, if you're out of coffee and you need that fix right away and Dunkin' Donuts is right down the road, you know, um, what are you going to, what are you going to do? Yeah. And now I'm addicted to coffee. So that's basically the story. That was that story. Right. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I don't know if I have any other topics in my stream. I actually, my brain is not feeling very streamy today, but it is Wednesday and I've set the arbitrary parameter that I have to record these on Wednesdays or it just, it, it's not, it's not right. It's not okay. And I'm a liar, you know? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just having an existential crisis, I guess. Um, 
I'm going to go do that. I'm sorry if this one's a little shorter, but it is summertime, you know, so obviously the quality of content is not going to change. I'm still going to bring you the most innovative, um, you know, illustrious, um, just groundbreaking videos that anyone's ever witnessed in the history of the platform, right? Because um, I love you guys so much. You're worth it to me. Have a good one.